Okay, now the first ligaments we're going to look at are the ligaments for the vertebral column. And you'll really need to pay attention to three different models to, to see all these ligaments. We'll look at this guy first. This is the cervical vertebrae. Okay, and these ligaments will be on all vertebrae. It'll go all the way up and down the vertebral column. <laughs> Here's the body of the vertebrae. Here's the spinous process of the vertebrae. Okay, here's the front of the body. Now you have a ligament that's going to run down the front of the vertebral body here, which isn't shown on this model, but it would be here. This is the anterior longitudinal ligament. And I'll show you that on another model in a second. And then you have a ligament that runs down the back of the body, and that's this gray line right here with the number six on it. This is the posterior longitudinal ligament. So the anterior longitudinal ligament is in front of the body. The posterior longitudinal ligament is behind the body. Now you also have a ligament that will run all the way up and down the vertebral column, and that'll be right on the lamina. So here's the lamina of this vertebrae. And this gray line here is called the ligamentum flavum. And that'll be on every vertebrae all the way up and down you'll have another ligament that will run down the back of the spinous process and that's called the supraspinous ligament but it's not on this model, we'll see it in a, on another one. Okay, so on this model you can see posterior longitudinal ligament and ligamentum flavum. Now we'll look at another model model of the pelvis and we can actually see here's our vertebrae okay. here's the bodies and running right down the front of the bodies is that anterior longitudinal ligament on this one you can't really see the posterior longitudinal ligament but you can see the supraspinous ligament here running right down the spinous processes and there's another ligament that you can see in the sagittal section that's going to run between the spines of the vertebrae. Okay, here's a spine and here's a spine. And notice there's a little gray structure right in between those two. That's called your interspinous ligament, and it'll be between every single vertebral spine. Okay, so supraspinous ligament, interspinous ligament, anterior longitudinal ligament. And we'll look at those on another one. So this is another pelvis model. You can see the same thing. Here's your anterior longitudinal ligament running down the front of the body. And your supraspinous ligament on top of the spinous process. We can look at a sagittal section of a head and neck, and we can see these ligaments as well. So here's our vertebral bodies. Here's our spinal cord. And here's our spinous processes here. On this one, you can see lots of things actually. You can see the dens articulating with the atlas and forming that pivot joint. You can see your anterior longitudinal ligament, this gray line going down the front of the bodies, posterior longitudinal ligament going down the back of the bodies. It's a gray line, not the white one, the gray one. And then here are your spines, and you can see the interspinous ligament between each of those spines. Running down the tips of the spinous processes, you can see the supraspinous ligament right there. And then we can see our last ligament, which is the ligamentum nuce, which is this large ligament here that connects all the way up here to the occipital bone of the skull. So this is ligamentum nuce here. All this gray. So ligamentum nuce, supraspinous ligament on the outside, interspinous ligament, posterior longitudinal ligament, anterior longitudinal ligament, right here, the gray lines. Usually ligaments will show up as gray structures on these types of models. You can't see ligamentum flavum on here, but you can see all of the rest.